Welcome to our video. This is Courage, our 1990 Fast Lane 40. She's uh, 40 foot long, which is 12 or just on 12.3 meters. Has a beam of just on 3 meters wide. And with the legs down, fully loaded, draws about 0.8 of a metre. It's got new covers, well they're a year old, but new clears, new covers at the back. Big loud horns. Access onto the fore deck through the forward hatch. Electric capstan. Inside is uh, nice and clean. New upholstery on the back seat. The 12 Hulk fridge. New upholstery on this seat here. Speakers, LED lighting for at night. Again, those new clears. Passenger seat here. Behind it has an access panel into a storage locker with your access to shore power plug. Also accessible through this cupboard. Keep cleaning products, ropes, the shore power plug adapter. Twelve volt fridge again. Have a um, ice or slurry compartment here. Good for all your cokes and beers and ice. Reasonable small fridge, but carries enough stuff. Works really well. Cools down really fast. Nice and tidy. Have these um, fold out tables for using when you're sitting on the on the seats. Both sides of the boat. Under this one is the access to your shore power switches and um, inverter switch. Is looking out the back with the covers on and the back bit rolled up, that rear cover comes off. Again, nice new upholstered seats. The main helm seat folds down, stand up or sit on. Awesome seats, I love them. Same with the passenger side. Got a clock radio thing there. There's a stereo, main stereo. Big subs and amps and everything everywhere. Heading down inside, sliding door. Looking at the saloon. Little kitchenette. Electric coffee maker. Boils just water for cups of tea and things like that too. switching and whatnot for it. Again, works really well. Microwave. Works well. Another storage locker here have um, life jackets and things all stashed in the bottom of it, coat hangers for hanging up, whatever you need. Kitchen cabinets with plates and pans and things. Nice little locker here with for your glasses, the TV. 
<clears throat> our kids use the uh, PlayStation, whatnot, things like that on it. Again, everything inside's nice and tidy. The upholstery all looks good for the most part. Double V bunk at the front. LED lighting. Have a wine cabinet. More storage in here, big pantry space. Very comfy couch, table, four or five people sit around it nicely, comfortably. The um, table pops out and there is a fill-in section that you can put in to that spot there and turn that into an extra bed. More storage up in the um, in the V bunk area. Same on this side. Have a look in the bathroom area here, nice and clean. Have a sink and a mirror. Cabinetry. Electric toilet in here. Uh, no holding tank. Straight over the side, but Unless you're in a marina, that's far less problems with the toilet. Good storage under the vanity. Up to the helm area. Here's a good new cover for when you're not using it. VHF radio. Access to all your wiring for checking and things. Multimeters and whatnot, when, if, if and when issue. Mercury's at panels. New switches and wirings in through here. Good array of electronics, all work. They're a bit older, but they all work really well. Good depth sounder, chart plotter, and radar. All the gauges on the um, on the dash work. Here's duckboard, back of the boat, couple of big pods there. <clears throat> Has the aft light, access hatches. We have a hot and cold shower at the back on the transom. Looking down into the engine room. Two Mercury's are 250 horsepower turbo diesels. Running through Bravo 1 stern legs. They've got a start battery each, each side there. And there's two batteries for the domestics. All running through VSRs and proper switching for linking and all that sort of thing if you need to. All reasonably new batteries, less than a year old. The 
those turbo diesels. Not new, but in good, good condition. Should give good years of service. They go well. Bravo one stern legs. Heaps of room. Heaps of room under the cockpit floor as well for storage. Massive big hold. Oh well, thank you, then that's courage.